This is Father Adam, and here I want to show you how to make homemade tortillas. Right now, when we're at home, we can make tortillas, and there's nothing better than homemade tortillas. So here, this is the maseca corn flour, and you can get it at your local Walmart, at the Mexican section, Target, or any Mexican store. Just get the maseca flour and put some water in it, no salt, only water, and have it be moist, okay? A moist consistency. When you touch it, it kind of comes off of your hands. Take a bowl like this of the cornmeal flour. All right, this is gluten-free. So for those of you who are gluten-free, this is wonderful. And form a bowl with it like this, all right? Yeah, use the palm of your hand when you're forming the bowl, this palm of our hands. And the Bible says God holds us in the palm of his hands because the palm of our hands is the most dirtiest part of the hand, the most messy. And life is like that. Life is messy. Life is dirty. But yet the beauty of life is that God holds us in his hands. As messy as life is, as hard as life is, as dirty as life is, God has us in his hands so we can live our life. Here's one tortilla that I've already, and we got to turn it now, okay? So there, that, let that one cook. I have a Ziploc bag and I have it on the tortilla maker. You can buy these tortilla makers, the tortillera, on Amazon or online or anywhere or in a Mexican store. Uh, this one is from Mexico, that's why it's absolutely great. All right, so you put the bowl that you formed on top of the Ziploc bag. Why Ziploc bags? Because so that it doesn't stick to the tortilla maker. Put the other Ziploc bag on top of it and then press gently. I learned this the hard way. Don't press too hard, okay? Press gently, otherwise it's gonna to be too thin and then you can't take it off. So press gently. All right, now, I always tell you all, be gentle. We have to be gentle. All right, there it is, okay? So now, take the Ziploc bag off and now we're gonna remove the tortilla and it's kinda of like, with your hands, remove it and then go flowing like this, okay? Lay it flowing you have to lay it like that it flows in and here we are we're making it this one uh, now kind of press it you need to be pressing it so that it um, it inflates you want the tortilla to inflate like this one is look how beautiful it is so that it cooks because you don't want to be eating raw uh, tortilla flour it's bad for your for your stomach so you don't want to be doing that okay so there it is all right this one is good. Ah, got a little burned because it's... Uh, okay, and anyway, where to cook them? Cook them on your pancake maker, your, you know, where you make your pancakes, cook them there. I got this thing really hot. All right, maybe a little bit too hot. And here I have, this is my lunch. I have nopales, which is cactus, onions that I um, fried up with a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. Okay, and chile. You always want to. You always want to have peppers, chili peppers, because you know life has to be spicy. We need spice in our life. Okay, and now when you see it kind of come to the sides, that's when you want to uh, turn it. All right, like that. Okay. So uh, this is my lunch: cactus, onions, and eggs. You always want to have eggs because that's good protein. And I had a hard time finding eggs around here, and believe me, I eat eggs. Okay you got to have strength in life, okay? So, uh, and always put some spice into it. You always want to have spice. Life has to be spicy because spice is excitement. We want to be excited about life. Life is good, okay? So, anyway, uh, now I'm going to turn this tortilla like that, and now it's going to come up again. So see, kind of press it, all right? And then have it inflate. Because when it's inflamed, when it's inflating, it's cooking. Okay, That's, which is really, really good. All right, and I think that one is done. Look, that's a beautiful tortilla, Father Adam's tortillas. Now, now that this happened, oh, I gotta get it a little bit um, cold. Okay, and here, take the tortilla in your hands like that. All right, and. Take whatever filling you want in there to make your taco, right, like that. And my favorite is I put a little bit of sour cream, just a little bit of sour cream, not too much, okay? Not too much sour cream, because you don't want all that fat. Right? You don't want 
a lot of that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I have that. And then the smelly Mexican cheese. It smells like feet, but it actually tastes really good. Okay. It smells like feet, but tastes good. Kind of like Parmesan, but this is cotija cheese. Delicious. And you gotta have some chili. I mean, you need to have spice in life. All right. Put some. Put some of this um, tapatillo um, spicy sauce. I like. I like it spicy. Oh yeah. Let's spice it up. Okay. okay. All right. There it is. And fold it like that. And there you have. It. This is way better than Taco Bell, folks. This is homemade, delicious, healthy taco. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm,